हेलो स्टूडेंट वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर हैप्पी हेल्दी एंड फाइन एट होम डू यू रिमेम्बर वॉट वर वी डिस्कसिंग यस्तडे आई थिंक यस्तडे वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द पी एम आर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी एंड एज वी नो दैट एवरीबडी नोज दैट स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी मीन्स वॉट द interaction of electromagnetic radiation with matter is known as a spectroscopy and pmr spectroscopy the basic principle of pmr spectroscopy we already discussed that the pmr spectroscopy proton magnetic resonance or it is sometimes referred to as nmr spectroscopy means nuclear magnetic resonance and we are considering here with the nucleus of the proton and therefore that is termed as a pmr spectroscopy and the number of signals as we know that number of type of proton present in the given organic compound number of pmr signals are obtained that's the very simple relation or the formula you can remember as we know that if the chemically equivalent proton they produce only one signal and if the protons are chemically non equivalent they produce different pmr signals bands or you can say here as a peaks and according to that on the basis of this general statement by applying this principle we can easily find out we can easily identify the number of signals present in the organic compound and we know that organic compound every organic compound mainly involve or consist protons and therefore we are considering the proton so i think in our previous lecture we already saw some of the or seen some of the problem some of the example we have already discuss now let us extend these concept further so that you can be experts in identifying number of signals present in the given organic molecule and that's the basic one thing you should remember here number of nmr signal is equal to number of types of proza proton present in the given organic compound chemically equivalent proton produce only one signal chemically non equivalent protons produce different signals and as we know that the pmr spectro spectrophotometer there are two main points one is a radio frequency and another one is a applied magnetic field many of you means most of you or everyone you know the radio one knob is switch on off once you on switch then another knob we are turning or we are moving that another knob either clockwise or anti clockwise and at a particular particular point there is a nice news or song we can hear so same principle is applied in the pmr spectroscopy one knob is kept as a fixed 
means either radio frequency or applied magnetic field but most of the PMR machine PMR spectrophotometer the radio frequencies are generally kept constant such as 60 megahertz 100 megahertz 300 megahertz 500 megahertz 400 megahertz 600 megahertz 700 megahertz if you require the high resolution means there is a very clear peak is obtained if you use as a higher frequency instrument PMR spectrophotometer and generally applied magnetic field is varying go on changing and we are getting as a different type of the signal so that's the basic idea generally using PMR instrument and the varying strength from lower to higher it is easy it is suitable for getting the spectra uh, the signal in PMR spectrum rather than the frequency and therefore we are and as we know that the basic principle over here the number of signal obtained is equal to number of types of proton present in the given organic molecule suppose given organic molecule has number of different protons let's see here five proton number of different five protons are present in the given molecule what do you expect how many signals do you expect from that given organic compound the basic principle suggests that here number of PMR signal is equal to number of type of protons and here I have already mentioned that there are five different type of the protons so I must get five different signal or different peaks in the NMR spectra that's the basic rule we can use over here let's see the one simplest example here this one cs3 ch2 and oh observe these uh, given organic compound carefully and tell me listen carefully tell me how many type of protons present in the given organic compound if you observe this carefully number of proton present here if you count the number of proton present here i am talking about number of proton just count mathematically look at here there are six protons are here right three from methyl group two from methylene group and one from hydroxyl group so total number of protons are present six but now listen carefully next question i am going to ask over here how many type of protons are present here type of proton different kind of protons over here look at chemically equivalent proton and the chemically non-equivalent proton that concept this type of the aspect we already learned in our previous lectures now if you see this methyl group there are three protons all are the K 
chemically equivalent and therefore they will produce only one signal right now means these three protons but it is all are the equivalent one chemically equivalent one and therefore all are the same and therefore we can call it as a a proton now this methylene ch2 group now there are two protons are there but are they same or different than methylene proton definitely they are different than the methylene so you can call it as a b proton now look at another proton which is attached to the hetero atom the environment around it is a totally different than this proton than this proton and therefore definitely this proton also has a different one means here you can label it or you can say it is a c proton means now there is a number of proton we have number of proton we calculated here now is a type of proton type of proton r3 and once we know that number of protons number of type of protons number of types of proton is equal to number of nmr signals nmr signals or peak you can say here this is a general rule you should remember forever here number of types of proton is equal to number of nmr signals or you can say here number of nmr signal is equal to number of type of protons or number of kind of protons you can say either this way or that way it doesn't make difference there is no difference now types of proton are three and therefore look at here there are three types of proton while answering how do you write it while answering you can write there are there are three types of proton types of proton there are three types of proton and therefore therefore you can show like this or you can write therefore therefore three types of pmr or you can say nmr signals signals or you can say peaks generally signals are peaks is used or referred while studying pmr spectroscopy understood this that's the answer one more question may appear here find out the nmr signal from the following molecules so how would you answer answer in a two sentence only there are three types of proton therefore three types of pmr signals given by that molecules understood this one this is the simplest way to find out the number of types of pmr signals of the given organic compound let me give you next example over here so just you have to find out the number of types of nmr signals of the given organic compound next example would be this one cs3 c double bond o and h now find out the number of nmr signal of the following compound the compound is given here observe this compound carefully and tell me how many number of proton present there there are four protons present are those four proton chemically equivalent or 
केमिकली नॉन इक्वलन डेफिनेटली आउट ऑफ दैट फोर थ्री आर केमिकली इक्वल एंड वन इज अनदर केमिकली नॉन इक्वल एंड देअर फोर यू कैन लेबल इट मिथिलीन प्रोटॉन यू कैन लेबल इट एज ए एंड अल्डेहाइडिक प्रोटॉन यू कैन से बी प्रोटॉन सो बिकॉज दीज हैज केमिकल इन्वायरमेंट अराउंड इट इज अ डिफरंट दैन दीज प्रोटॉन एंड दीज थ्री मिथिलीन प्रोटॉन द केमिकल इन्वायरमेंट अराउंड them are equivalent and therefore they are chemically equivalent chemically equivalent proton produce one signal and therefore here you can write there are there are two two types or you can call, call it as a kinds kinds of proton proton therefore therefore two nmr signals signals right that's it so if this is the way to answer to remember it is a very easy to find out the types of the protons of the given organic compound now let us see another example over here that example number maybe i think 1 2 3 4 5 this may be as a 6 now is a 7 let it be here cs3 ch cl and now is a cs3 over here again observe the structure carefully and tell me how many types of how many kinds of proton or how many sets of proton you can refer it as a sets sets of proton present find out the sets of proton from the following compound that may be the question may appear in the exam find out the sets of proton find out find out the sets of proton sets of proton of the following compound following organic compound or you can just say compound find out the sets of proton of the following compound or find out the kinds of proton of the following compound or you can say find out the types of proton of the following compound now let's see here if you observe this structure carefully there are two methyl group both the methyl group having chemical environment around it is a same or identical and therefore all six proton are identical only one kind of the protons are present this methyl group means you can label it as a a and you can say it is also as a a because this methyl group has one neighbor chcl3 and this methyl group also has a same neighbor and therefore the chemical environment around both the methyl group are same and therefore they will produce only one signal now see this another proton attached to this carbon atom bearing as a chlorine atom it is a definitely different than these two methyl therefore you can say it is a you can label it as a b proton now you can easily find out the sets of proton means type of proton there are two types of proton right there while answering you can write there are two two types of protons there are two types of protons 
and therefore therefore two sets of two sets of there are two sets you can call it as there are two sets of proton and therefore two sets of pmr signals pmr signals of 10 that's the answer in this systematic way you can answer this now let me draw one more structure over here you just find out the sets of proton present for the following compounds now let's see over here one structure i am writing here cs3 ch2 ch br then ch2 and cs3 look at here observe the structure carefully when you observe this structure carefully what do you find look at here this methyl group and these methyl group are these two methyl group same or different see this methyl group attached to methylene this methyl group also has one neighbor methylene means they are chemically equivalent protons and therefore they will produce only one signal you can say here a here also as a now look at the next one methylene group this methylene group and this methylene group you view if you observe this carefully and see what are the neighbors present look at if you see on left hand side there is a methyl group on a right hand side there is a chbr and if you see here also this methylene also on one side there is a methyl group on another side there is a chbr and therefore both the methylene group are chemically equivalent and therefore you can label it as a b now look at this one the proton attached to carbon bearing bromide it is also as a different than these two so you can label it as a c means how many sets of proton present over here so you can easily find out there are there are there are three protons there are three sets of proton sets of proton and therefore therefore three sets of pmr signals signals right so this is a very easy way to find out the types of proton present in the given organic compound and the number of signals given by the pmr spectrometer so in that way we can easily find out i think is a problem number 8 maybe and now let's see another one the next problem suppose we have a nine number problem c here this is a one of the organic compound many of you knowing many of you know this structure this is a structure of benzene and we know that the molecular formula of a benzene is a c6h6 so there are number of proton present in this particular organic compound is a 6 let's see here hydrogen over here this is hydrogen hydrogen atom here also as hydrogen and here also all these six hydrogen atom now tell me are these six hydrogen atom are chemically equivalent or chemically non equivalent 
let's see how do you find out it suppose if you see here this is a proton if you go from if you see left hand side there is a hydrogen on right hand side on right hand side also is a hydrogen atom means this proton the chemical environment around them and if you see here there is a proton here also has a proton means this proton and this proton there i think with this let's see some of the this the all these proton proton number this 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 all these six protons are chemically equivalent and therefore how many types of protons are there a a a a and a you can see over here one two three four five and six all the six protons are chemically equivalent means all the six proton are equivalent and therefore there are there are only one set of proton one sets of proton and therefore they will produce they will produce one they will produce one pmr signals signals right so this is the way to find out the number of types of proton in the given organic in the given organic compound right so in this way we can find out the number of types of proton in the given nmr now let's see another example over here which we are going to discuss right now over here let's see another problem number maybe as a 10 c this is a structure see carefully methyl group over here another methyl group over here it is a disubstituted benzene if you observe this structure carefully what do you see over here look at here here is a proton here also has a proton here also proton here also has a proton first of all find out the number of types of proton present in the given organic compound look at here methyl group this is also as a methyl group here neighbor hydrogen atom here also as a neighbor hydrogen atom if you see here here also as a neighbor hydrogen here also means these two methyl groups are chemically equivalent and therefore they will produce only one signal you can say here e now if you see hydrogen atom this hydrogen atom on one side there is a methyl group is a neighbor on another side there is a hydrogen atom right and if you see here methyl group here hydrogen atom means this proton and this proton they are also chemically equivalent and therefore you can label it as a b same thing is here b and b and therefore how many types of protons are present in this organic compound there are two types of there are two two types of two types of proton two types of proton and therefore two therefore two nmr signals obtained therefore two nmr signals that's the it therefore two nmr signals obtained are given by this molecule so this is a way to find out the number of nmr signal from the given organic compound i think with this let us stop today here remaining point we will discuss in the next lecture thank you have a nice day